offering of the bread or the And then the third benefit, of course, there's many, but I just, for this morning's time sake, third one is the idea of Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're brand new. So I was just looking how cluttered my kitchen is right now. Um, a lot of these dishes uh, it's just overrun with dishes. They need to be loaded in the dishwasher. I have big dishes that need to be scrubbed and there's just too much clutter everywhere. So I thought I would clean the kitchen with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and light my candles first. I like to light one here in the laundry room. This is gingerbread. It's really cute. Now, I have started to have to keep this one up high. Um, I used to keep it on my little table in here, but my new cat, Shadow, he likes to jump up there. So, for safety reasons, I've never seen him jump this high, though. So, for safety reasons, I keep it on this freezer we have um, up here by all these little puzzles. Now, this is my newest candle. I'm just starting today, this vanilla candle mainstay. Um I did cut these wicks a little bit. They were a lot longer. Um, but yeah, I love vanilla. I think vanilla is always a f nice, fresh scent. I love to have my candles going when I'm going to be doing some cleaning. And as you heard earlier in the video, um, I, I had the radio on. I usually have it on some Christian music or I think that guy, I don't really know, remember who he was, but he was at list I was listening to him preach. So, yeah, if you want to get some cleaning done and or get rid of some clutter, then um, come along with me and let's get rid of some stuff. And I'm also going to be stocking a few things. We actually went grocery shopping, I think it was yesterday. So I'll be stocking a few things as well. How is y'all's new year going so far? We've completed about what a week, <laughs> um, a little over a week, and uh, my I've seen a lot of kids have gone back to school. My girls go back to school tomorrow, January tenth. Um, they didn't get out until December twenty second, though. So, anyway, it's been a great uh, break. Um, I just we haven't been able to film that much with them being home. Um, it's not easy to film with kids at home, especially when they don't want to be in the videos. So I don't force them to be in any of my videos. And you'll notice that um, when your kids get older, sometimes they don't want to be in videos. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. So anyway, I just couldn't, I don't usually like to film in my kitchen that much and do cleaning videos in my kitchen. I'll just be completely honest. But I was overloaded. As you could tell, it's just things are everywhere. And I've got a small kitchen, so things can really accumulate easily. Let me know if you have that problem as well, because it surely is a problem for me. Um, I do say, now I am, you do see me loading and stuff, but I will say my girls are very good about unloading and loading the dishwasher. Sometimes I'll have, it'll be my daughter Penelope's turn to I'll tell her to um, I'll tell her to unload, and then she'll surprise me, and I'll come in there, and all the dishes that I were gonna I was gonna load in the dishwasher, she went ahead and loaded for me as well. So sometimes it's a nice surprise, and um, you see me here. This is where I keep. This is our pantry. Um, we do have a pantry we bought a couple of years ago. It's kind of funny, but we're not using it yet until our kitchen's totally remodeled and stuff. So I'm just using this cabinet space, but. I'm just kind of, I would say, like, semi-organizing in here um, because, like I said earlier, we went grocery shopping. And, yeah, I'm just putting a few things in here. But this really needs to be organized probably a little bit better than what I'm doing today. But what did they say? Rome wasn't built in a day, and I'm not going to do this all in one day. So I don't even end up cleaning the kitchen all in this one day. I worked hard for two or th uh, probably two hours just on this small section of my kitchen, not even the whole kitchen. And my kitchen's not big. It's not a big, but it's just it's just so dirty and unorga un unorganized. It sounds bad to say dirty, but I mean just like as far as a deep clean goes, I haven't done a deep clean in a while. Hey, and I'm just deep cleaning here on the counter. I'm using this Lysol cleaner here. 
and um, it gets quite sticky and wet and messy over here because uh, we use vegetable oil a lot so I just have the vegetable oil and everything I'm just giving this a good cleaning So I just recently bought some more coffee pods for my husband. So I'm just going to be putting them here um, in the store where, where I keep the silverware. It's just really convenient for us instead of keeping it. That way I have more counter space. Um, and so it's just real convenient just to open the store and just pop it in the coffee maker. Another thing I am restocking are my dishwasher pods, and I just get the Great Value brand. It works fine for us, so I'm just restocking that here, and I have it out on, I do have this out on the kitchen counter because it's just so convenient. We're always probably doing two loads um, of the dishwasher every day, so this is just real convenient. And this little vase I have it in is also from Dollar Tree, so there's a lot of great uses you can use with these Dollar Tree vases. It doesn't just have to be for flowers or something like that. It could be for decor, filler, or you can use it for something useful like this. Else that was time for a deep cleaning is my coffee maker that my sweet friend Jessica gave me. She is also a YouTuber, um, but I really just, we drink a lot of coffee. We also use this coffee maker for making hot chocolate and it just needed a good cleaning, all-around cleaning. And I I so wish y'all could hear the Christian music that I had playing, that I was listening to. Um, but I am so, you can see how dirty that is. But I, I'm so scared I'll get copyrighted. But, I oh man, I was just jamming out. And I just love listening to Christian music and um, hearing people talk about the Word of God while I'm uh, cleaning. It's just, to me, it's it's the best Listening to that and lighting, having candles lit, and the house starts smelling good. You got a load of laundry going. It's all good. Another thing that I wanted to deep clean is this rooster canister. Y'all may remember this in a video. Um, I got this actually about a month ago from a thrift store. It wasn't Goodwill. It was another thrift store, and you can still see the prices on there. $5.95 wasn't a bad price at all. Um, so I'm taking the tape off of here, and then I'm just going to wash it down. And, yeah, I really love it. I really, I don't know what's happening with me, but I think chicken and roosters are really cute. So I'm starting a collection. And yeah, this came off pretty easily and it's actually was pretty clean inside here. You know, some things you see at thrift stores, they're not clean and, but honestly, some people may have not even tried to clean it, but I still, um, it was in pretty good condition. I still gave it a cleaning though, just in case you never know. But the thing I like about this is it's not just cute, but you can also like use it for some kind of storage. I think I want to start being a tea drinker and like a hot tea drinker, like before I go to bed and like store tea bags in there, or I could even put my coffee pods in there. No, I already put my coffee pods in the sink. So, um, I don't know, but it's really cute and I like it. I like it. I love it. Hey everyone, what is up? So today, the, when y'all saw that last clip of me doing all that work in the kitchen, it was January 5th, that was last Friday. Um, today is January 10th, so almost a week later, I'm picking up the camera again. Um, I just, life is just, it's just busy. Um, just doing stuff. So yeah, I cleaned that day. I didn't finish cleaning my whole kitchen, but as you can tell behind me, just from me showing you this, if you remember what my, my countertop was um, before, it was really cluttered. So I'm trying to declutter and um, you saw me restock and all that. So it's much better, but um, 
honestly, so the kids started back to school today, and um, hopefully I can get them to more of a routine of vlogging and cleaning and just taking better care of my home. Um, we will see, y'all. We will see. So, um, I want to show you quickly my countertop. Now, do keep in mind, my countertop, as you can tell, is old. It's got marks on it. You can tell it's like, I don't know, got some like stains. Well, we're eventually going to get a new countertop, but the main thing is it's clean, right? Okay, that's what's most important. Not if it's brand new, but if it's clean. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just gonna just, this is just one half of my kitchen. This is just a small section. I'm not even showing you my whole kitchen because... Um, <laughs> I, I really could spend 24 hours just cleaning my kitchen, little areas of my kitchen. So, yeah. But I decluttered. Um, I wanted more space for um, everything. So, I've got my coffee maker. We do leave our coffee maker unplugged just to save money on energy or whatever. I don't really know what that comes to, but I got that idea from my husband. I have my vanilla candle going. Love it. Love it. Love it when I'm cleaning. And I am starting, y'all, if y'all remember my last clips... I told you I was wanting to start like a chicken slash rooster collection. Um, and this is what I've got so far. Once again, I said that this is from a thrift store. Um, I got back, I think in November. Yeah, November 2023. <laughs> and then this little cute little rooster thing is a um, Pioneer Woman little plate. And I don't really like need it as a serving dish, but I think it's so cute as decor. So I just love it. And the kind of roosters and chickens I'm into are like, as you can tell, really bright colors. Um, I'm not really into neutral ones. Like I like a pop of color with my chickens and my roosters. I just think it's so cute. It brightens up the kitchen and I'm here for it. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm just gonna quickly scan um, and then I cleared out this cool corner. My, I didn't really talk about it in the last clip, but you might have seen it. My mom's urn was there and an angel. And I moved my mom's urn around different places. Um, but for right now, I put it somewhere else. And then I just put, I just had these drying mitts here because I had to score some dishes and they're drying. And then we've got some fruit, some oranges, and a potato. And, um... I don't really like this green vase thing, peppery vase being there, but I'll move that later. And then I've got some organizers here. Ooh, we are low on rice. And then it is winter, so I still have my snowman cookie jar up. And my, what do you call that bread thing? The bread storage thing? What do you call that bread box? is like somewhere i can't find it it's in a box somewhere so i'm just using this container to store my bread and rolls or whatever so yeah okay so i thought before i go to bed tonight i did some rearranging in my room i took down my christmas tree um on sunday this past sunday and abigail helped me abigail was a big help she helped me get it in the take it well she helped me put it in the box press it down hold the box down so i could put tape on it and then she helped me carry it out to the shed. So the Christmas tree's gone. I have put up some Valentine's decor in my room and just moved things around. So I thought I'd show y'all my, what I've done to my room, just in case you're curious. Okay guys, we are in my room and I just wanted to show you how it looks after the Christmas tree is gone. So my vanity is still here. This is in the same spot that it has been. I just cleared off. I. I cleaned the wood and I cleared off everything. So that feels good. And then I put this, um, I've had this forever. I think it's from Burlington. And, but it had been sitting on the floor. I put it back up on the wall. Oh, I took it off the wall for a Christmas decoration. That's right. So that's that. Got a little trash can. I moved my dresser over here by the window. So this is where my Christmas tree was. And I just love it. And y'all, I did not buy any new, I'm so proud of myself. I did not buy any new Valentine's decor. Um, when I was putting my Christmas tree up, um, I just saw a little box and it had a few Valentine's things in it. And I actually contemplated selling it because I'm always trying to find ways to make money. But then I was talking with my daughter, Abigail. And she's like, no, mom, it's just too cute. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And y'all know I love pink. So 
it's mostly pink. There's a bit of red in there, but mostly pink. So, yeah, this is just all stuff I've had over the years. Um, the gnomes and everything. I love this little tray with some heart earrings. My husband got me this bracelet from Dillard's a couple of years ago. Um, now, this little pink thing, I can't remember if I got it from Walmart or Dollar Tree a couple of years ago, but I'm using this as a blessing jar. In case you don't know what a blessing jar is, it's just, um, I want to be able to look back at the end of the year and pull up whatever blessings I got or like, you know, what I'm grateful for or stuff like that. So, I, I have one thing in there already. Um, so that will probably stay out all year round. Um, the only new thing I can say on this dresser is this mirror. This is a new little mirror I got from TJ Maxx, y'all. Um, you may remember it in a haul, and I got it actually a couple of months ago. I just took it out of the box, and then it has a little area here for jewelry. And then I got my little Juicy Couture scrunchie here. Got my little phone stand from Dollar Tree. I love strawberries. I like to eat them. I like strawberry shakes. And I think strawberry just decor. My phone cover is also strawberries. And then I have this little knob from Dollar Tree that I've had forever. Um, and then this is nothing new. I just cleaned the wood and I put a lamp back on my, um, what do you call this? End table? Side table. I don't know. Okay, my bed is not made up because I'm about to get into it. So, yeah, it's almost bedtime. And then over here, so my desk used to be in this corner, but the problem was I was never really using my desk. It just became like a catch-all, just stuff I put DVDs on, and I was just not using it. So I, I asked my husband if he didn't mind moving. As you can tell, this is my husband's stuff. Uh, well, these are series and stuff that we watch in here, and these are like his Lego things. And I, it used to be right here, and I was like, hey, can you move your leggings and... Did I say leggings? I mean, can you move your Legos down here in this corner? And I want my desk kind of like more in the middle. Um, so yeah, I cleaned off my desk. Now I do need to clean inside it a little bit more, but as far as on the top, y'all should I should have showed y'all before how bad it was. Um, but yeah, I got this from Dollar Tree. Here's my Bible, and then just some pictures. I got my new calendar from Dollar Tree. I got a kitten calendar. It's so cute, y'all. I got another one of these little heart um, decor thingies. I don't know what you call them, but it's from Dollar Tree. And then I've got my bookshelf here. Um, those pink slip. Those are my pink Juicy Couture slippers I wear. And like this isn't like how I want to keep it permanently. I just kind of put cute stuff I have here so happy new year 2024 and that these are little shoes of me and my sister my brother my mom had made when we were ba babies every time one of us was born we get, each got a shoe it says like what time of day we were born how long we were our weight and all that good stuff a little bit more valentine's decor here I got all my cat um, stuff here and a little bit of jewelry and then I got that Louis Vuitton box that my per my new purse came in and then this is just like nail stuff and this is just like storage so that's that'll probably change and then yeah I got a bag of trash on the door <laughs> keeping it real and then there's my new purse it's so cute so yeah y'all that is just I just wanted to show you how I kind of changed my room the other day I didn't film it I just went on a, I just got into a cleaning mode on Sunday and I took down my tree. I took down all the decorations and um, I just went crazy and just moved furniture around. And yeah, I really, really like it. And um, I'm proud of myself. I'm trying to do a no buy, no spend month in January. Um, if y'all don't know what that is, that means I'm trying, well, I am so far. I'm not buying anything that I don't need. Now, as far as groceries, of course, paying bills would still do that. But as far as like going shopping or is something like that, I'm trying my best not to do that. So far, I've been good. Today's January 10th. Um, yeah. So anyway, I love it. I love my gnomes. I know some people think they're 
a little freaky, but I love my nose. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight, y'all. It was good catching up with y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to give this video a like. Bye, guys.